<laughs> oh, Mr. Craig. Thank you, Craig. How's it going, boys? Welcome back to another another episode of the Puke Podcast. I believe this is the second one. So I'm Dominic. We got Tristan and Xander with us. How's it going, boys? Pretty good. Uh, good stuff. What was that noise you just made? What? What, what did you just say? You said, it sounded what? like you made a weird noise. No, I said, what's up? Oh, what's up? It's, on my end, it sounded like you just went, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, how was it? I just got out of quarantine, so that's epic. Oh, yeah, 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 right. Yeah, because you you're... All that quarantine, Xander. You were in your house for like four days. That was... <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, no, so that's we thought we had the... Girl. We thought we were we had to quarantine like ten days after the test comes back positive. Oh but yeah, a, but apparently you only have to quarantine ten days after like the first symptoms start. Yep, yep, that's what's nice about it. So it's, it's pretty I'm, cool. But uh, I'm gonna be honest. When this school made me do that, I just stayed in my house for like two days and just didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> so like, wasn't sick or anything. So you also wear the exact same mask to school every day without washing it. So. No, Damn, that's kind I, of an I, issue. I huh? have to. All right. All right I don't even cool. use like a mask. I just keep getting those. Yeah, the ones at school. Yeah. Yeah, they, like they're so uncomfy around the ears, though. Like I literally have grooves in my ears from wearing them. It's so frustrating. Oh, I know, dude. I hate wearing them. I have to wear them at work too. Exactly. Yeah. And I have to go like, I have to wear it at school, and then I got to go to work. And I have Yikes. to wear it for like ten hours straight. Yep, Dude. not not a fan. <laughs> I like how the mask thing is like mandatory at the school, but I literally don't wear it for like half the day, including lunch. Yep, because <laughs> like literally, I don't know, because I know our our the principal kind of sort of gets angry occasionally, but I'm like, mm, don't care. Because <laughs> like my second period is study hall and. <laughs> I think everyone knows the study hall teachers like don't care. Yeah, actually, they always are just like, bruh. Yeah, and then <laughs> the next period after that is ceramics. I'm just, I'm always like, I'm gonna be like making stuff on the wheels, so it's gonna get messy. So I'm just gonna take this off and then take this off. <laughs> what? Wouldn't and you then, put it on? Huh? I mean, yeah, if it's gonna get messy, bro, why don't why don't you wear the like the, the, the mask? Because you have like a, you literally have one that's designed to be like worn while you're it's getting messy, right? Like the kiln one? It's a bandana. Oh, yeah, that one. I only wear that one because it doesn't hurt my ears. That's true, yeah, because it goes up every night. Bandanas, like, I'm going to be completely honest. I wear them because I can breathe right through them. Yeah, It's not It's not a bandana. It's like the neck tube. Yeah, it's, it's like a neck gator or something, like, something crazy like that. I don't know. Yeah, the gators are not. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I don't mind wearing a mask, but it's just when, you know, you're going to school and it's just every day. Like, it just gets to a... A point yeah. where you're just kind of like, eh. I'm pretty sure our mask mandate is gonna not be a thing anymore though, because yeah. we got a new governor. Yeah, he's coming in and he's gonna wipe it out. I think yeah. so. We'll see I what mean, happens. Like half the people don't care anyway. So exactly, and it's like it's like you know though, like once it, it gets to a point where people are just constantly just having to wear this stuff, and it gets to a point where people just kind of stop caring because they haven't gotten it yet, and it's just <laughs> I uh, haven't been. Like all year and exactly time. yep <laughs> kind of yeah. fun but whatever yeah this is recorded at the time of coronavirus for anyone <laughs> listening in the future yeah for anybody far in the future <laughs> yeah, which will probably be no one but it's okay we, we already got 15 uh that's all we had 15 we got, views on got, yeah 15 plays I yeah to any of you have. loyal fans who watched the first one <laughs> big big kiss on the cheek for you Big smooth. Why not? Why not on the lips, bro? Dude, because they might have herpes. That's why. Or coronavirus, oh. bro. Yeah. Can't be risking that. Don't care. All right. Um, let's see a few topics here. Yeah, yeah. Um, we got a few on the list. So. Sarah Palin's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, bro. Don't think we're doing. Okay, let's go with your topic, Dominic. How stupid okay, yeah. certain holidays are. Yeah. So I wanted to bring this one up. Yeah. So I was thinking, right? So, um. My mom's birthday is coming up soon and it just made me think, right? Because I was, I was sitting there and I was like, my dad has to buy something for her. Well, he already bought a lot of stuff for her on Christmas. And I was like, you know, usually everybody would buy each other stuff then. But then you think about it. It's like, she has, then anniversaries I find kind of stupid to a degree. Not gonna lie. Um, But if you think about it, like you go to Valentine's Day, I feel like that is 
Just the st- one of the stupidest holidays ever. It's actually the worst holiday. Yeah, I don't really I care should... if you've been married for like seventy five years. It's objectively the worst is, holiday. Yeah. So yeah. because like obviously it gives me an excuse to like give stuff to a girl I might like or something, but but then but then it's my literally dad then... a corporate shell out to sell chunk. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So my 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 dad then has to get he now has to get stuff for my mom's birthday which is in january he has to get stuff on christmas which is in december obviously and then he has to get stuff for the anniversary which is again in february on top of valentine's day happening only only six days before their anniversary so it's just it's kind of one of those things i'm just like so stupid Dominic, Dominic, you think that's bad for your family like all that shit close together literally all of our birthdays are in december (laughs) right right right, yeah did you so my mom's have a... birthday's on the 17th, my birthday's on the 21st, and then there's Christmas, and then my brother's birthdays are on New Year's Day. Oh no. Did you... <laughs> so it's all in the span of like 15 days. That's epic. Did, did you have a reason for like uh, why you didn't why you didn't necessarily like like uh, uh, Valentine's Day, or was that just kind of, you were just talking about like how it's corporate stuff? It, and it's just like bad. <laughs> That's true. It's not even like fun, honestly. And like, most of the candy is kind of trash. I'm gonna be completely honest. Literally, like the they're... only thing it's good for is like bad chocolate. If you want, yeah, the... it's re- like Easter's another. Easter like, is I'll... garbage chocolate. I hate yeah. Easter chocolate. It's it's always like that really super like fakey stuff. Oh it's yeah, it's like really terrible. sweet and it tastes like plastic. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I love Easter, but like, yeah. oof, dude. I'm <laughs> not a fan of the chocolate that comes around during that time. So, oh yeah. Do not all just like stomp really... on the cheese. I must admit. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say, Tristan? <laughs> not gonna lie, I will chomp on some cheap chocolate. I will admit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. The only like fake kind of chocolate that I like is uh, the gold coins. Oh my <laughs> gosh, those are those are so rich though. Like, I don't like really yeah. like rich chocolate, but that's the only stuff I'll eat. I haven't had those in years. <laughs> on you. Yeah. Some- I have that a bag of them right next to me. Yep, same. <clears throat> Big monkey, man. Right, okay, if you think about it, though, like, Halloween is the perfect holiday because you don't yep. need to worry about, like, getting anyone anything. Yep. You can dress up and not be shamed for it. I love – Halloween is by far my favorite holiday. And I'll yeah. say that just because I do really like scaring small children. And as mean <laughs> as that sounds, when a I 14-year-old – <laughs> When a 14 year old shows up to my doorstep and I'm dressed up as Michael Myers or something like really basic, you know, they just, they won't even check to see if I'm like, cause I hold really still next to my doorway and they won't even think to like look at it. And I'm just like, bruh. Well, Dominic is also seven feet tall. So keep Yeah. Going. Yeah. It's fun. It's like the standing in your doorway. I'm not taken. Huh? <laughs> it's like standing in your doorway waiting for trick or treaters. Oh my gosh. Like yeah. look them in the eyes or walking by. They yes, could just. Sir. You're like a little glass hole in the door. <laughs> I don't know. I just honestly like as much as I I really like Valentine's Day, I guess. Uh, but it's just I don't know. It's not exactly my favorite just because it is such really a, unnecessary. It really is, and it's not even like I don't know, it doesn't make me any closer to anybody. It's like yeah. here's some candy, but you already know why I'm getting it for you. If it was out of the kind of kindness of my heart, like maybe I would see it, but because it's on a holiday. And I'm not nice enough to buy people candy anyway. <laughs> like that's the whole purpose of anniversaries. I feel like we'd be good with one or the other. Exactly. I don't know where a bunch of men talk and a bunch of girls are probably gonna get if the girls even watch this, they're gonna get kind of upset that we're saying <laughs> Well, I know when I upload this to my YouTube channel that that's not gonna be the case. <laughs> yeah. Well I checked my YouTube statistics and my audience is a hundred percent male. <laughs> Let's go. First, you I wanna have... shout out your YouTube real quick? Yeah. And uh, shout yeah, out my crap you want to. As of right now, my YouTube channel is Obama Bin Latex. Yes, sir. And mine is uh, Urge for Surge, but I don't upload much. Yeah. So. Mine. Yeah, search up Obama. <laughs> search up Obama. <laughs> search up Obama Bin Latex, and it's the first thing that comes up. Trust me, you don't have one hundred percent. And he's actually got he's actually got a lot of views too, like insane amount. A lot of the stuff. Uh, they don't know about. Them. They're just well, like I mean, mean I, shit posts. Yeah, and I would call I would call it a pretty insane amount considering I've been working on my channel for six years. Tristan posts one video, gets like fifteen hundred views on it, yeah. gets five hundred subs, and the same time that I've been working for like seven years. But it's okay. 
I, I stopped it's uploading. Because I, it's because I uploaded an episode of Garfield Go gameplay. And <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the best. It's just Garfield. it's just him staring at the screen. It's really what? hot. Catching Garfields while while getting Garfield lasagnas, bro. Lasagnas. Don't get me okay. wrong, those. Oh, everyone wait. listening, download Garfield Go now. So it's literally better than Pokemon Go, and like I, I literally can't even get it on my phone, dude. I'm so sad. I tried to download it one day when we were in general business, and I couldn't. It doesn't work on my phone. Like I downloaded yeah, it yeah. and it loads, but then yeah. it'll like load me in the actual game, and it'll just freeze. Yep. It uh, literally think... works perfectly fine. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think it works on OS systems. I'm assuming it probably works more on like the iOS, Apple type stuff. Yeah. Uh, but it's for only those worthy enough to play it. <laughs> only those worthy enough to spend a thousand dollars on a piece of crap phone <laughs> i still play garfield rush <laughs> oh my so, gosh bro i told him to get it <laughs> oh my i had an entire folder on my phone that just says garf and has garfield games <laughs> garfield is kind of a funny meme though not gonna lie <laughs> in, in my classes i'll be bored sometimes because i usually get my work done early yeah. and i like I, pl- I like to play those games with music in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and I... I'm, on Garfield the Rush, there is no way to turn the music off or down. Nope. nope. There you literally can't. is. You just get a weird version of every app. I don't. Like, I I, have, I've looked. <laughs> I have the music and sound effects off. I can change them at will. How? <laughs> They're fucking know. right there on the home I've screen. looked so hard. Uh-huh. Or are you There's... just like. Way. Put in your own sound files. It's like actually have to hook it up to your PC <laughs> and just like change everything. <laughs> no. Yes. If I can. Oh. Rainbow yeah. Six. Literally, if you want to change any settings, you have to go into the actual game file. Oh my gosh! Yeah. For, for the most part, yeah. If you want to change like the data center, you should just be able to change that from the. Like you shouldn't have to go into your file to change your region. Honestly, I had to do. Yeah, because if you don't want to, like. I don't know, dude. It's just so stupid because if I if I want, if I don't want seven hundred ping every single game, I don't know. You for for some reason like you get like seven thousand every game, but I'm not gonna talk about that. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. But it's it's okay, bro. It's okay. I mean, my yeah. internet has been good lately. I don't know. Yeah, it's been kind of better. That's good. That's good. Your dad might have bought more <laughs> RAM. And I try to play Siege on Xander's computer, and my character lags like twenty feet behind. Yep. Yeah, my, my dad probably downloaded more RAM. He probably just like downloaded oh. Wi Fi. Wi Fi, where you go? Hold up. <clears throat> Not even gonna finish that. <laughs> Not even gonna finish Yeah. Mm. What? <laughs> Let me just look through the topics here. Harley oh, Quinn, God. Bart Horn. Oh, are we Who would we be if we were fictional characters? Harley Who Quinn. Who would we be? Uh, ooh. I'm gonna like, let you guys answer that first. I don't know. I want to pick for each other. I don't know. Wait, what? Oh, we should do that, yeah. Really? Yeah. You think? Personally, I would like Dominic to be Harley Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely blonde. I got that <laughs> nice physique. I'm not like 280 pounds. Uh, <laughs> Aren't you almost like really that weight, though? Huh? How heavy are you? <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm 280. I, I'm just I'm also <laughs> six foot eight, so I'm I'm right at the like median. They call it the body mass index, which is totally false. Like I'm oh, the BMI. I'm the B- definitely a little bit overweight, but dude, the BMI carry. is like not accurate because it doesn't take into account like your muscle or anything. Exactly, it's just like, like overall weight. Dude, our gym our gym teacher took uh, the BMI scale and it said that he was obese. Which which <laughs> like, he's, act- he's actually yeah. not. Oh, my oh, doctor oh. told me I was morbidly a beast. He's definitely not. The our gym teacher is ripped, but it's just because he has like so much muscle mass and. Well, yeah, I don't. It, yeah, they're just like your overall weight. Even though muscle, I'm pretty sure is heavier than fat in most cases, which is why you float if you're fatter. Okay, like, you know what character water in water. <laughs> huh? You know what character I think Dominic would be. <laughs> I want to hear it. Mister Gus from Uncle Grandpa. I don't know if y'all have seen that. Oh my gosh, bro, dude. I literally love Gus, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I came back. Right. Oh, looks so bad. Dude, that show, that show is... Okay, so I'm really sad because I think they discontinued it, but I've seen every single episode. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure Slap, it got dude. taken down. Yeah, probably. 
Because it was an affront to God. It wasn't a what? <laughs> it was an affront to God. That's why I got taken down. Uh, I can't even think of like some Uncle Grandpa quotes. I used to do a really good impression of him. Kind of aids now, but we don't need to worry about that. Do it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think like who would Tristan be? I feel like you'd be like Speedy Gonzalez. Hey, <laughs> 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 Dingle. <laughs> I'm not saying that because he's Mexican, I know, guys. I, I'm not even that Mexican. I know yeah. exactly who Xander would be. He'd be yeah. light, young me from death. <laughs> Wait, he'd be who? He'd, he'd be not. light, young me from death. No. Why? Oh because my, my hair is long. My hair <laughs> is not even, dude. <laughs> the character's hair is like the half. Okay, half let me just me. edit in a picture of you in the video. Let me do that. Do it, do it, do it. Can you need to get like that really old picture of him from like fifth or sixth grade. <laughs> Just slap it in there. No, I got the image. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> uh, I don't know about like anyone else. Well, I do know, but for me, I like huh. the ad from what's that movie? That Disney movie. It's like Inside Out. <laughs> oh my gosh, that gum commercial. <laughs> no, no, uh -huh. Inside Out. Wait. <laughs> I feel like you... I'm gonna look like the dad from. Oh. Inside Out. Here, I'll send it. I'll send it to the Discord. Okay. No, no, I know. I know you're talking about. I thought he's. Gonna, I thought he said I like the commercial from Inside Out. I thought he's talking about that, like the gum one that they play repeatedly in that movie. No. Yeah. No. No. That's kind of. I guess I could see Tristan as a dad. He kind of sort of just spaces out sometimes. Oh yeah, Tristan's <laughs> gonna be a dad. Like oh, yeah. he enjoys mowing lawns. <laughs> There's literally nothing wrong with mowing lawns. Actually, mowing lawns kind of gives me a lot of time lawns, to think about life. <laughs> I used to hate them, but now I just like yeah. I put in my earbuds and I go. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put on a pair of sunglasses and call it a day, dude. Oh yeah. See, except, yeah. If, it's, like, except if it's a hundred degrees out, then no thanks. Yeah, that's an issue. Yeah, but 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 if it's like I, one thing I love doing is shoveling because I obviously love like cold weather, so that I could see like would be really fun with earbuds in too. Shoveling yeah. snow is kind of awful when the snow is like really moist and like heavy. Though. Yeah, it's super sticky. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like powder, that. but when you go to shovel it, it all sticks. <laughs> it's because the bottom layer is just pure slush. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Big mongus man. Big mongus man. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Paw Patrol. Oh Why? Shut up. <laughs> is, that, is, that on our, is that on our list for stuff to talk about? <laughs> Paw I put, Patrol? It is. Topic is I put Mexicans, Border Patrol, Paw Patrol. In order. <laughs> Gosh, dude. That's so so is Vor. Let's talk oh. about Vor. Vor? Wait, did you say Vor with like a V? Yep. How about uh, we don't? <laughs> what is that? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> really? Yeah, actually. It's hard to explain. Um, oh. Rib. <laughs> It's a type of porn fetish where a character eats someone else and they like it. Oh. Just for that. Yeah, I don't know. It, yeah. <laughs> Not that I would know or anything. <laughs> Not that you would know that, Mr. Tristan. <laughs> but they're like, there's so many fucking terrible, terrible drawings on the internet of just vor. Like, oh. I don't know you haven't seen this before, Dominic. I, I don't. I, I know. <laughs> Would like, you like to? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's not, the way you all are describing it, I'll just not engage myself in this. And the way you said that, like, would you like to? What? Have been, have been, have been. Uh, make sure so too. Um... <laughs> Bruh, that face and I can actually speak a little bit of. Chinese. Not actually. It's not even that good. Go right now, I swear. What'd you say? What are you playing right now? I know I'm, you're playing. I'm currently on Roblox. So I'm not even going to. No! Oh God. I, I couldn't play CSGO, so I played CSGO on Roblox because my Steam Phantom authenticator Forces. wasn't. You yeah, I'm on Phantom Forces. Forces. Yeah. I literally <laughs> did. Not even joking, dude. What am I? What am I? I'm 20 and 8 right now, dude. Don't even be mad. I'm so good. <laughs> Don't come at me in Phantom <laughs> Don't come at me, dude. I'll mess you up, dude. Dude, during quarantine, back when I wasn't even dating my girlfriend yet, that I'm yeah. dating now, that's all yeah. we did yep. was either play yes, Roblox but... or Minecraft. Yep. My that was the only thing we could do. Yep. 
because you you couldn't like hang out with her or anything. So yeah. I remember we were in this one game, and the title I don't even remember what it was called, but it looked really cool. And then we went in there. Yep. And it was some like role play, like restaurant thing. What? And we were like, okay. And <laughs> there was like this table and we sat down. And apparently, you know y'all how the role play games work. There's yeah, yeah. like workers at the restaurant. And this lady came up and we didn't know what was happening. And she typed in the chat, she's just like, How can I help you? And then <laughs> waited like a second and then she just typed, I'm suicidal. What? <laughs> oh no, dude. Uh, so, wouldn't uh, Roblox ban that though? Like in the chat, they, they don't, don't, dude. They don't. <laughs> and I, I used to. I don't know. I used to. Um, I used to take those games very seriously because I have a. I have a game I play called. I used to take Roblox. <laughs> no, 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 Trust like, me, Roblox High School. I used to be a god. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so like I played a. Uh, there's a game called Tsunami Sushi on here. And that game I have oh, too many hours on, I'll be completely honest. <laughs> but that's okay. I think the game I played the most um, would probably be Club Tesla. I don't know if you ever played that. I did not. Can't say I have. It's got, it used to have like 20,000 active players, but now if you look, it's got like 20. Two. Yikes. Dude, Dude Madeline's Stunt Cars 2 has more active Dude, oh my. Dude, we, okay. <laughs> We were on earlier. Tristan and I, yeah, Tristan and I were on metal and stunt cars today, right? Because I was just seeing because Happy Wheels doesn't work anymore, right? Because wait, what? Yeah, you know, Flash Player uh, doesn't work at the school it, anymore. Did they, did they just like get rid of it? Yeah, because Flash you can player. still use Flash Player, but it just it's yeah. not updating anymore. It's probably a no. I think the school updated, like they fully updated the system, and now they're switching over to the, the Source Two or whatever it was. But anyway, so. Tristan and I were on, we were on there today and these guys were just being so toxic. They're like constantly talking about this guy told me he had a girlfriend, but then he was, he was like mad on stunt cars. You'd think that would be like 12 year olds playing that game. And he's constantly just like asking girls to smash and stuff. It's like, bro, chill. And he's like, dude, why are you snitching? And he kept using the N word. And I'm like, I guarantee you, you are not like allowed <laughs> to use that word. <laughs> I found I found it funny because like whenever I look over Dominic, would just be like furiously typing and he's like in a. I was suit wearing a suit. Type. Yeah, I was wearing I was wearing my suit today. It's like me when we're playing Among Us and I'm not the imposter, and then someone yes. like said it was me, and then Tristan would just hear me go. I couldn't even hear. Me? No, you just like smash the keyboard. Yeah, someone would like blame me, and it wasn't even me, and then he just heard me like. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. I know exactly that feeling too. It's just fucking mechanical keyboard head ass. I need to get a new one. Mine's like breaking. Yeah, what? You yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. Sometimes you play Siege and you're just like <laughs> <laughs> destroying it. If Xander yeah. dies three times in a row while playing a game, he just instantly rage quits. I, I don't blame him. I don't blame him though. Honestly, Siege is the most frustrating game on the planet. I remember I, one night we were playing Siege and I was like on a really good roll, I think, and then this one dude—I don't know what happened—he walk banged me or something, and I took my fist and I slammed it on my keyboard, and it went flying, and my keys yep. went missing. Yep, I, <laughs> I remember had that. To find them. Yeah, guys, I think it's... my new keyboard is breaking for some reason. No, well, so it works anymore. just fine, but when I plug it into my key, when I plug <laughs> it into my computer, it. <laughs> It, it's totally for it's fine. It, it literally works. So when I plug it in, sometimes it just like disconnects. That's all right. Which is definitely my fault. I broke a an Xbox controller playing Cuphead. No, feels bad, man. So yeah, it's I can hear you typing and clicking. I swear, <laughs> I can hear it. I remember. Oh my gosh, that reminds me, dude. So Tristan showed me, and it's kind of isn't on topic, but Tristan was kind of showing me. Uh, do you know who Meat Canyon is, Xander? Pretty oh, sure yeah. you do. Oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah. showed so He showed was me the SpongeBob, SpongeBob one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so disgusting, dude. SpongeBob. It was terrible. I need you. Yeah, so. He didn't watch that in class. <laughs> yeah, he made me put on his headphones and just, like, go for it. I was so. Did you, do you have that downloaded? No. Have what? How did you find it? How is it not blocked? I don't know. It wasn't blocked for some reason. How is it not? Wait, on the. Oh bro, I didn't even know he. I didn't even know he was. I thought he was on his data. That's messed oh. up. How's Meat Canyon not blocked, dude? That's so scuffed. Oops, Fucking YouTube restricted mode 
so retarded. Like, it doesn't even make sense. No. That's an oof, bro. Dude, I remember when we had to quarantine and we could take home the school laptops. Oh my gosh, Even yeah. they blocked everything on the school laptops, even if you brought it home. So, I couldn't go, like, do anything. Except for Board Game Online. Board Game Online. Dude, Board Game Online's the best, like, <laughs> online game ever. If you're too afraid to play D&D because you think your friends will make fun of you, just play Board Game Online. It's the same board thing. Game Online but... is not D and D. It's it's basically is it's a role playing game. Oh, yeah, that's I know one game I was I was like playing CS:GO and I come back and somebody's just like board game. Online. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's like I didn't even nice like one, nice one. Yeah, I just I was like, okay, <laughs> he just typed that into the chat and I was like, okay, bro, we should literally all play uh, for this recording submission. Yeah, I don't know. Bonus and... episode. Follow our Patreon. <laughs> Shut up now. <laughs> we 100% have Patreon. Yep. Dude, almost like any like random YouTube video I click on and at the start of the YouTubers like, so anyway guys, here's the link for this in-game thing that we we're sponsored by and then there's the Patreon. Make sure to give that a look. Like, no, I don't think I will. <laughs> That's all right. I know this happened last podcast, but I'm also very hungry again. Oh my! This video was sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, one of the biggest mobile role playing games of 2019, and it's currently free. Currently, almost 10 million users have joined Raid over the last six months, and it's one of the most impressive games in its class with detailed models, environments, and smooth 60 frames per second animations. Haven't heard that a fucking million times before. Dude, literally, the script that they give like all the YouTubers, it's it's, yep. it's public. Yep. Like it's on their website. That's it cool, bro. Even fucking need to be because it's all the exact same shit. <laughs> all the champions in the game can be customized with unique gear that changes your strategic buffs and abilities. My lord, I just want to die after hearing that. Honestly, click on my Wait. link to get a free thirty thousand gold. Dude, I, the worst was when the YouTubers this would acknowledge that they offer. The, the worst was when you you just like go to watch your favorite YouTuber or something who hadn't made like a video on oh, it. Oh yeah, and they're like, "Hey guys, I know you guys don't want to hear this, but raise that oranges." And I was like, "Oh my gosh, bro." Yep. Wow. My bad. Or it's like oh. those ads where they say you'll probably skip this ad. Yeah, it's like and I'm just like, I, "Yep, I will." It takes some five seconds to say that, so you're like, "Huh." Nice. I'm sorry. Hey, like, yep. well, what do you know? <laughs> I'm going. I'm clicking skip right now. You should have uh, explained to me what your product was. Maybe I would have been interested if you wouldn't have said you're probably gonna skip this ad. Mm, yummy. <laughs> anyway, all right. What's next up on this topic list, boys? <clears throat> I well, the last thing I put is like literature. Like, if any of you guys like reading books or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Do you have any like specific books that you're interested in? Because you can, you kind of put that topic in there. I was actually rather surprised, to be completely honest. <laughs> I, that was literally all I did for like ten years because I, my Weird. like family does. Okay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would read books and like go to like the library because <laughs> I didn't have a phone or anything. We didn't have a TV. <laughs> Feels bad. I I mean. I mean I, Oh, now, but that's it. That's kind of yeah. good, though. Like, I'd rather have my child just read like a shit ton than yep. just be on a phone or TV all the time. Yeah, I mean, TV's like, bad screens are bad. Moderation, though, like, is so important. Like, because obviously, I want I want my kid to learn how to like game and be good with computers because it's so important, like, in today's world. But uh, I don't think that they should be in front of the monitor constantly. Obviously, like one or two hours a day is probably fine, but no more Dude, than that. I'm when I have kids, I'm literally gonna make them go outside. Yeah, yeah, and you're like a you're like a frog, dude. Like, what? I don't know. Dude. You're just I, no, no, no. Like he's constantly just like during the summer, he's always down by the river, even if no one. Oh yeah, him. oh yeah. Like, either skipping a rocks or I don't know. He'll text me and be like, "Hey, I've been at the river for about an hour. Do you want to come over and <laughs> hang out?" It's like, sorry, bro, I'm playing Siege for the past two days. My bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll like a message that, but I'll be like six miles away from a roof, like any kind of. Building. So I'll be like in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, hey, you doing anything? I remember one time you called me and you had like one bar of service, and you told me you like. Hiked, oh yeah. You hiked was... up. 
I was in the middle of the river when I called you. <laughs> it was such shallow, a, so I was just like, all right. That's such a Tristan thing to do, I feel like, honestly. <laughs> you want to tell yeah. your story about um when when you went on a nice little bike ride at night? God, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> just screamed. Dude, yeah. I've already, I've already told this to both of the monkeys here, but I, I don't know. I... I've enjoyed, like, I've picked up a hobby, like, last summer of, like, going out and riding my bike at night. Because it's, yeah. like, um, it's... Also, for summer, when it's fucking hot, it feels really nice. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But <laughs> I always usually just go to, like, like uh, the close subdivision, just, like, ride around. Because there's a pond and, like, shit to do there. <laughs> but one night, I decide to <laughs> ride my bike <laughs> Not doing that shit anytime soon. <laughs> you gotta explain why, though, dude. Come on. Oh, yeah. Well, also, whenever I ride my bike, I listen to music, because it's also pretty fucking epic. You should try yeah. it. Sometime. Well, I was riding over there. It was really... It was fucking cool out. All the stars were out. It looked beautiful. And I didn't... All I, all I did is, like, I went to, like, the bridge. Like, in a little axis bridge. Yeah. So I, like, sat on, like, a couple rocks and, like, just chilling, you know? Yep. And <laughs> wait, before that, I did walk a little, a little far, like down the river, and I, and I was kind of getting spooked, like even then, because like I saw some bats in the sky, and I've only seen bats like once before, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> for like some reason, just for like to fuck myself, <laughs> I was like, hey. Bears are nocturnal animals. <laughs> and I was like, hmm, interesting tidbit. Dude, I, so I, just walked, I just walked back to the bridge just to like, and then I was chilling there again. So I was just like, I was listening to music, sitting on a rock, just like looking at the water. And then there's this giant fucking splash out of nowhere. <laughs> like huge. <laughs> it scared the absolute shit out of me. Oh, like dude. that's literally that's literally the most I've ever been scared like before or since. Oh my dude! That moment, and I fucking like I just sweared like really loud. Like I was not even in control of my body at that point. <laughs> Fight or flight, just like completely takes over. Yep, that sounds uh, like it. I'm glad I didn't like scream really high pitch or something, <laughs> but like my voice just went like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> Oh, I can just imagine it's just like little kids like throwing rocks in the river <laughs> and then they just hear oh but it was like extremely fucking loud <laughs> just like oh shit <laughs> like it was it must have been like a fish or something but like that's the only explanation I can think of is a fish like a branch or something falling off a tree I, don't know. I didn't think it was a fish at first because the splash was so fucking like large like that's what scared me <laughs> Oh, dude, there's some big ass fish in a river. Yeah, actually, I don't know, but that was that. And then, and then, like right after I did that, I was like, "Okay, <laughs> yeah, <come. laughs> all right, guys." Like Time just, to wrap in, it up. just in case there was someone like on the bridge, like, "Ah, oh, funny prank you did there, Bucko." <laughs> yeah, yeah, you pulled one over on the old tourist man. I will admit. Dude, I hate when like I wake up in the middle of the night or something, and I'll go to the bathroom, and my my brain's just like, let's think of the scariest thing we possibly can. Exactly. It's like let's think of an alien that man. In the shower when I was like washing my hair. And my oh my gosh! Yeah. Same. I used to like be afraid that I'd open my eyes and there'd be something <laughs> looking at me in the shower. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if you open your eyes, there's just gonna be like the grudge thing from the. <laughs> yeah, I used to do that when I got dressed too. When I was really little, like I oh pulled gosh. a shirt over my head, and then I'd be scared when I like put it completely over. There'd be something just yep. like there. Yep, that's a, a lot of that was thanks in part to constantly watching Slender Man when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> the Slender Man movie. <laughs> Slender Man. I watched. Uh, what was that one show? I, I can't remember what it was called, but I think it was on Nickelodeon. It was either Nickelodeon or The Hub, probably The Hub, because they had no filter what they put on that station. I don't know Dude. if you guys ever watched that. No, I haven't heard of that. The Hub. You're it's saying that? Not, it's not what you think it is. No. 
No, it was this cartoon no. station. Huh. And oh god, what was it called? Oh, the haunting hour. I haven't heard of that. You haven't yeah. heard of the haunting hour? Nope. Was oh, like- yeah, well I don't know. I, I never watched it really, but I remember seeing ads for it and just being terrified. I don't know. Dude, some of the horror movie ads, they like show the scariest part in the ad and I go watch it and it's like, bruh. <laughs> the Slender Man movie. <laughs> yeah, you Dude, guys watch that. It was but... terrifying. <laughs> it was terrifying. Was it it was not decent then? I'll take it. It, it was a fun movie to like make fun of, but if you want yeah. a genuine movie like that'll scare you, it it's Slender don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Good to know. What was the last movie that actually scared me? Slender Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sonic probably Hedgehog. it. Probably what? Probably it. Oh it. yeah, that dude. The one like the part where the hands come out of the freezer. I was just kind of like, no, nah. yeah, dude. I didn't. I really, didn't like. I didn't get scared by it. I just thought it was like kind of unnerving. Like that. Yeah. Work. Me sure. too. Like I don't really get scared by jump scares. I get scared more of like atmospheric and yeah, yeah, like disturbing type things. Yeah. Yeah, and. The, the one thing that really like got me in that movie was the painting lady. I don't know why no one did it. But Wait, that, Xander. Know. Xander, I know a moment that we both got scared you... for like no reason. Are you talking so... about that? No, we were watching we were watching like season three of Stranger Things. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and for some reason, there's a shot of like this like ride on like pony that you put a quarter in. For some reason it was just like terrifying. It was the, this. Well, yeah, were you were you talking about the like the painting lady and it like the really just screwed up one that was like on the wall that kept moving or whatever? Yeah, it's like the, the really long head and face. Yeah, dude, that that was the that was the scariest thing to me in that movie. Yeah, honestly. See, finally, like, did you know that's actually um based off uh the director's other movie that he did? Which it, it, it's called Mama, and that oh, painting, I've seen that, that movie. Painting, that painting is. The villain in that movie. That's Mama. Bruh, that's sketch. I couldn't imagine watching a whole movie just on that. Right. Yeah, yeah. That would be oh my gosh, bro. Oh. Have any of you seen Mama? I have, I, I, I have I have a little I need to Google it. I I watched that with my dad when I was like ten. <laughs> anyway, what what were y'all talking about? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just like the the painting since we we're kinda of still kind of back on that uh, topic. Yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah, know, just, yeah, Xander, you talk about it. What? No, you go ahead. I was going to change the topic for a second, so you go. Oh my god. <laughs> no, we were just both watching that shit in Stranger Things, and it was like late <laughs> after it happened. Pony. What the it's just a scene of the pony just like riding, and the scene is a minute long, and it's just music, and it's zooming in. It's literally I don't like- know why. It's not even scary. Like I went back and watched it. I was like, man. <laughs> I don't care. I was talking. I was gonna say, um, back on the topic of literature. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it is on. probably my favorite novel that I've read. I've actually read all of it. Yeah. What about you, Tristan? You were talking about something kind of. No, like what was the book? I didn't quite catch. Oh, he he said it like the oh, like it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. At first, I was kind of like, "What? What do you mean it?" <laughs> it's like, <laughs> was like, yes, the first. Is- Stephen King book I ever actually the first Stephen King book I read was The Gunslinger. Oh, oh, oh. I, that's actually the only Stephen King book I've read. Really? Is it? The, yeah. Have you read the first one? I don't remember. I'd... It's a, the Dark Tower series. There's okay. like five books, I think. I think it was. I think I was the first one. I read it in like literally like seventh grade, and I did not touch really? another Stephen King book. Really? Yeah. I don't know. That He's one not is really my style, but I don't know. I like. Oh god, I just completely forgot what I was gonna say. The Gunslinger is really not a good first Stephen King novel because it's one of his only like not really horror books or horror series. The Dark Tower. Yeah, I'm re- I'm reading The Stand right now and it's really good. Yeah, I actually that's funny that you bring that up because I my little brothers just bought one of those, so we'll see if they like it. But Dude, you know, just, I just got the Green Mile and I didn't know it was oh, yeah. by Stephen King. And yeah. I just, so I, I apparently the green mile is like really sad and like emotional i guess what? right hold on i'm i'm back sorry i my discord just completely 
just crashed. Died on it. Yeah, I don't know if that was about but I'm back. Yeah, I don't know. So so Tristan was saying he's saying how he got the, the green mile. I think he got it from the book box oh. actually. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Yeah, yep. Wait, really? I, I heard it was a good book, so I'm like, hey, I might get this. Yeah. And I didn't it, know it, it was written by Stephen King. I did not know that either, so I've actually read two books by Stephen King. Now. There's a yeah. lot of Stephen King books that I've read that I just haven't known they were from him. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Stephen King literally did cocaine in the 80s. Oh, yeah. he like You can tell. I remember <laughs> reading The Tommyknockers, which is his, uh, it's voted one of his like worst books ever made. And even he hates it. And he said he, in an interview, he said he wrote it like ninety percent of the time. He was just high as fuck when writing it. Sounds about right. Honestly, he honestly like with some of the stuff he writes, it makes you wonder how he has like how he can write that stuff and say so like calm, bro. Is it so demented? Some of it. Oh yeah. But, Stephen I, King was the original fan fiction author. No. Because he would make up horrible shit. <laughs> yep. Yummy. Like an, like an it in the book that no one talks about how all of the children fuck. Everyone knows about that, Xander. Yeah, I didn't know that. I've been educated. Educated. I yeah, educated. at the end, I mean, it sounds weird out of context, but if you actually read oh, yeah. the book and it doesn't seem that like awful. Dude, yeah. what the heck? Why'd they cut it from the movie? What, what the heck? But yeah, I at the end. All of interesting. Literally, when they defeat... I don't know if this is a spoiler or not, but I'm going to say it anyway, because I don't care. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, people should have watched after, it by now. <laughs> yep. After the end, like, when they're kids... I don't know. The book is weird, because it switches between the time periods, like, at the same time. You'll read, like, two pages of when they're kids, and then you'll the next two pages will be when they're adults. Yeah, it's, but I when, follow his story sometimes. Yeah. Like yeah. But... When they're kids, uh, and they, they defeat it, they get lost in like the sewage tunnels and <laughs> the girl is like i have an <laughs> idea <laughs> and they all take turns just like fucking her so for, it's uh, a train pretty much yeah that's disgusting well anyway i don't moving on. i don't know I'm moving on i don't really like uh i don't know i don't really care much for fiction type like reading because even the lord of the rings and stuff like that like i've read the hobbit and lord of the rings and i just i'm not a fan of them i honestly prefer like historical type stuff or political yeah and junk like that so my favorite novel of all time actually okay i take that back it is not my favorite novel my favorite book or book series is metro oh yeah um, yeah i don't Man. know Metro Exodus. Is that like yeah, it, it's what the game series is based yeah. off of. I remember you talking about that because you just bought the books and you're like, oh, they're coming out with like, oh no, no, you're saying you're saying they're coming out with books, right? Yeah, because I know you're like a big reader. I'm not. I, yeah. I mean, I I used to be. I'm not really anymore. True, true. But I don't know. Yeah, I played, I played a little bit of Metro 2033, and it was actually like a really decent game. I I didn't. Yeah. it's not on my computer. Kind of reminded me. It kind of gave me like Homefront vibes. I don't know if either one of y'all. Oh yeah. Heard. Like play that game, but it, it reminded yeah. me a lot of that. Also, like it's a, it's also a lot like Stalker. I don't know if you've played that. I haven't, sadly. So no. I have an you iPhone. You should really. I think you'd like Stalker. They're coming yeah. out with a second one soon. Stalker, I oh, hardly. Oh God, <laughs> no! But there's three Metro books. There's twenty thirty three, twenty thirty four, and twenty thirty five. Gotcha. But uh, Metro twenty thirty three is uh, like the game. Yeah. It's it's based off of. The books, twenty three and twenty four. A lot of people think that Last Light is based off of the second one, but it's not, oh. because this the second one follows a completely different character in the book. Mm. And then e Exodus fo Exodus follows twenty thirty five. Yeah, it's that's why the, you know the books that have like really confusing storylines like that. I will not follow like movies to a degree, to an extent. Like uh, Halloween, it's one of my favorite storylines because it's just super confusing. I don't like the third one though because it just makes no sense. It's just I haven't like, watched the third one. The yeah, new it's one, it's really story. good. Yeah, the new one actually kind of decent though. <laughs> that I like it because it was like a remake. But... What, Tristan? He cut out. I still have yeah. not seen the new one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Tristan, Xander and I, we walked into the. Was it Xander and I? We walked into. Yeah. There was all three of us. Did it go to the theater to watch? Yeah. It? We all, I think it's yeah. We walked in there and they're just like, you have to be 18. It's like, bruh, 
It's like seriously, because sometimes it's like seventeen. That's not even the eight. Yeah, rated R is seventeen. I know. So yeah. They were just like, yeah, you're not old enough. I was like, bro. Yeah, and also on top of that, it's like you guys don't think that I like don't play games with gore or something. I don't know. Uh, that's something. something I feel like censorship is like really weird. Yeah. Because we'll we'll blur like. It's not acceptable to like show a tit or something, which is like naturally part of the body. Exactly, yeah. But you can say, you know, fuck all you want on the media, no one cares. Yep. But if you say the N word, you better not. All right. Yeah. All right. Like, that. You better. I not. feel like to a degree that that like I don't know. I'm not even gonna say anything. Let's <laughs> on that. not talk Let's about not. that. Yeah. The only N word I use is nerd. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. Anyway, what's next up on the topic? <laughs> um, I don't know if y'all have heard. Uh, there's drama with Call Me Carson. Dude, I don't care. He's back. I literally. He's back. Up. He's back, bro. Wait, what? He's back. I don't, I don't think he is. Oh, dang it. I guarantee you no one is going to care in like two weeks. Oh, yeah, I know. That's how, it, that's how this cancel culture works. That's how uh-huh. any. Yeah, that's alrighty. No one that happened to like James Charles when that yeah. whole thing happened. Literally, everyone cared for like a week, and then after that, everyone was like, "Okay." And then he had got all of his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Dominic. Hold on, boys. No, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, all right. We just made him well, leave instantly. Yep. From being James Charles. James Charles. All right. James Cargles. <laughs> James Jargles. <laughs> I was going to say that. James <laughs> Cargles. Oh, well, I was going to say this earlier when we were on the topic of like horror shit and like getting scared, but <laughs> my phone just turned off. Okay. <laughs> no, but <laughs> we were talking about like jump scares and shit. I almost like never like get scared by those like that i've been jump scared so many times and my reaction will just be like okay <laughs> i know i don't know i feel movies really don't know how to do them anymore because they've been done so many times but i feel like part Sorry of the that. reason why okay i'm just gonna finish explaining this but part of the <laughs> reason why <laughs> because i watched so many like horror movies with my parents while i was did you want the bad tristan <laughs> What are we I talking saying, about? I was saying how I like don't get jump scared by jump scares in like movies oh, or yeah. shit. Because I watched too many horror movies when I was like six. <laughs> Y'all know the first time I played Five Nights at Freddy's is in like fifth grade and I screamed yeah. like a little girl. Thing <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't understand why there's still like a fan base for that game. Like, like yeah, it's a cool game and the lore's kinda it's kinda neat actually, but like I don't know, I sound kinda stupid saying that since I'm a seventeen year old boy, but no, no, yeah, I get it. It's actually a good like premise. It's, it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. I think that honestly, the people who who follow that game still have kind of made it made me not want to care. It's about kind it. of like Undertale. Yeah, like, the yeah. community for that is just garbage, but it's a it's a good game. It's a good game. Yeah. So I feel I like know. how how most fandoms work. Like yeah, <laughs> for most like anything like books, movies, games. Yeah, like something can be like really good, but then the Fucking people that like your like, absolute mongoloids. I I don't know if you got you. You guys have probably heard, but uh, they are making a FNAF movie. Yeah, <laughs> no, no there, there there were rumors years ago, but they yeah, act, yeah. Warner Bros actually confirmed it uh, last year in 2020, and uh, they said filming will begin in spring this year, 2021. It's Dude, literally honestly, gonna be like the Slender Man movie. It's it, yeah, I know. Gonna be- it's gonna I, age. I know. I will. I will one hundred percent. You'll watch that though, because uh, dude, the one game, the one game that made me like really into it was that was the uh, what they call the joy of creation, because like the they had the oh, one where I know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, we were kind of we were kind of weren't really like one hundred percent, but that game, like the ones where the animatronics can actually like you move around with them. Yeah, like that. Yeah. That sounded so much cooler to me than. Being stuck in an office or whatever, you know. I remember there were, there used to be a whole when FNAF games were still like coming out. Yeah, all those like fan made trailers, and I remember this one, and everyone believed it, but it took place in like this mall, 
And oh, it was right. basically you had to just kind of like hide. It was only yeah. Freddy, I think, and he'd like walk around, and you'd have to you'd, yeah. ha- you'd have a flashlight, and you'd you'd have to walk around too. And it was not at all like what the other ones are. That's all I'm talking. About. I think that I think that one was the joy creation because like it, you start out on a house uh, for one of them, and then you can go. It goes up to like bigger maps with different people. Um, the and joy of creation, and... its sound design is so good. Like that. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of like the Hunt Showdown. It's like an actual FNAF game. Yeah. Uh, I don't I, know if you can purchase it. I don't it or think not. it's made by like the the company, but it's like a fan no. game, maybe. But it's it's, a, yeah, it's fan game. Fun. It's so yeah. honestly, if they were to make a I'm movie. Not yeah, I, dude, it's so good. There's also one called Case Animatronics, which is another really good one. I like the idea of like walking around with them because that's so much more terrifying than just sitting in an office waiting for them to come to you, you know? And yeah. like the uh, when the monster animatronic like spots you, <laughs> fucking yeah, like so crazy. terrifying. Oh, yeah, wow. it turns your knees to like jelly because you know that they're right behind you. It's so terrifying. <laughs> no, but they'll just like scream like really. Oh, I, no, I've seen this. I yeah, know what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah, just like oh, oh, I get it. Yeah, I remember now. I'm looking at screenshots. Cube. God, I miss when you could just enjoy games without some like cringe fan base. I don't know if that's ever been the case. I keep smacking my pop filter. My bad. I just lost in Roblox. My God. It's going to anyway. be a different game every time we record. Honestly, uh, well, yeah, it's not my th- Steam is broken. So, um, but anyway, so like, I feel like, I don't know. Honestly, I want to see if you can install the Joy Creation. I'm going to look it up right now. Is it on Probably. Steam? No, it's not, unfortunately. I don't know how to get it. Like, I know it's a it, computer. You can go to piratebay.com. It's on, there's one on Game Jolt, but I don't want to install oh, yeah. anything. I think that yep. I think that's the only one. Yeah, you have to, yeah you have to download it on. This needs to be released as like an actual game because I would legitimately play like pay money for this because it's so terrifying. Oh yeah, but, yeah. Because like, what's the last like actually good horror game that's come out? Um. <sighs> oh, I I know this. Uh, I really liked Blair Witch. Dude, Blair Witch was actually so good. It's actually what. <laughs> Okay. Dominic's mom, mom just walked in, bro. <laughs> That's exactly what happened, so it's fine. <laughs> what were you saying? So I turned on my push to talk so that background noise can come. Um, but like Blair Witch was so good because it was it was like genuinely terrifying. Mm. I remember um, the scores on it are really low, or they're not low; they're just average. But at first, yeah. I really I didn't like the game because I didn't get the premise of like what to do with the camera, and yeah. I'd just be walking around for like hours in a circle and be like, "What the fuck?" And I didn't realize you could look in the camera and then their like items would spawn. It's hard to explain if you haven't played the game. Yeah, the well, just... but I, I I replayed it and I was like, "Man, this is this is pretty good." Yeah. Man. <laughs> What was the last like good horror game? There really isn't much. Dude, like Phasmophobia is probably like the latest one. It's not it's not like super scary, but it's not like I don't know, it's not, it's not necessarily a bad game. It's pretty fun. I remember yeah. when Resident Evil 7 came out. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. That was fun. Yeah, I heard that game's really oh, hard and, though. And also Outlast, like the Outlast franchise is good. I didn't like Outlast 2. I don't know why, but I just felt like it didn't. Hmm. I don't know. There's too much country fucking going on. <laughs> but I upload like I upload. I recorded most of this portion, so I'm hoping this is the right like recording because sometimes I accidentally upload like already uploaded files and it just has Roblox gameplay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm just currently playing Candy Crush. Oh I've been God. sitting on my computer looking at our Discord bubbles. This oh whole time. I was sad. there minutes ago when I got on something else. I could get on some city skylines. <laughs> wow. City skylines. It's good you buy. Don't, it's, it, 
if anyone is listening and you're thinking about buying City Skylines, don't buy it on console or Windows 10 edition. You have to buy it on Steam. Yep. Because you can't mod it if you get it not from Steam, and it sucks without mods. City Skylines is actually really bad without mods. I, I played it on like uh, Braden's computer. I don't know if y'all know him, but he he had it and he on he guess. He, he got Windows 10 version and you couldn't mod it and it was it's so bad. bad. They, I mean, like, they they just added modded uh, a mod feature, good. but it sucks. Yeah, and it's like, what are you supposed to do in that game? Like, because if you can't, I don't know, you can build cities and stuff. Like, and it's cool once you have like your first established city, but after four hours of gameplay, you're like, bro. Yeah, I don't Dude, know. Gameplay. That's a game that I just play when I'm like really tired, but I can't go to bed. So I'll just hop on and play some like really mellow Hello. music, and I'll just play City Skylines. Oh. My Discord acted funky for a second there. That's the only really like. Is it is that is that a tycoon game? Would you call it that? You could make that argument, but what what's your uh, YouTube channel, by the way? I need to shout you out in the title of this video so I can tell people where to find the first video. Or what's our Spotify? Uh, Spotify is just Puke Podcast, I think. Yeah, didn't we do that at the start of the podcast anyway? Yeah. Okay. You need to call out like the the name, like the yeah. It's just puke. Stuff. It's if you search up puke, it'll show up, and then we're actually called the Puke Boys is our artist name. Got you. A podcast. Uh, the one. <laughs> what? what do you mean? I do not associate. Oh boy! But yeah, there's that, and then there's also our YouTube channel, which is the same title. And there's my channel, which is bigger than all of them combined. Yep. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Don't mean to flex. Unless I have flex. That's okay, bro. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. all right. what's up? I think we're about done. Yeah, I don't no, think. We're not. No, we're not. No, almost. I don't know. We got about like 15 more minutes. I don't have much more to talk about, so. I don't know. Um, well, let's see here. Do, do, do. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. We could talk about Berg Ape. Berg Ape. <laughs> Berg Ape. Oh, uh, there's one here in the topics list that Tristan wrote down. It says salt and vinegar, and in parentheses, it <laughs> says important. <laughs> salt and vinegar okay. chips are, like, they're my second favorite just because the pickle chips are my favorite. But you guys had the Pringles ones, which were trash. <laughs> no, we had the pickle rig. Pickle rig. Yeah. 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 But Dude, salt and not... vinegar is the best flavor, like, I will say now. I don't know, bro. Those honey mustard Pringles are really good. Dude, they have honey mustard Pringles? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That what? Really good. I, I love honey mustard. I got everything. It's like my ranch. <laughs> my fingers smell like ranch. <laughs> my fingers smell like ranch. I have to be in a really specific mood to, like, eat salt and vinegar things. I, I don't. Like, <laughs> just give me a bag of salt and vinegar chips, and I'll be like... Same. I'll be like, I really don't like these, but then I'll eat them, and I'm like, yeah, okay, these are good. Yes, and then you come out with salt and vinegar sun chips. That's the only reason I would ever eat them. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> sun chips. Xander, when I'm trying to play Siege with Xander, and he's like, you know what, I'm gonna. T- it's ten o'clock, but I'm gonna drive to Albertsons and buy two. All right, all sun right. Sun chips. He's done. <laughs> He called me as well. You don't understand. I gotta go down the store to buy some sun chips at 11 at night. I'll make some popcorn at 12 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you guys just don't understand. No, literally, I like this one time. I didn't realize you made popcorn like legitimately from the kernels. I thought you threw a bag in the microwave. You were gone for like 20 minutes. I was like, what is <laughs> you doing? But yeah. I, I've recently started connoisseuring uh, bags of popcorn instead of well, making it on the well, you see, In common economics, there's a thing called convenience. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder. Let me yeah. explain why. <laughs> in, in, in you do. Right, yeah, we, that's how we What's used up? to make it. We used to buy just bags of seeds and then we'd 
put a pot on the stove and put oil and seeds in there and just pop them. Um, okay. it's usually pretty good that way. But also, I see here in the in the list here it says cucumber and orange and also grapes and graphics and grapefruit. It is it even a fruit? What is fruit? Okay, so <laughs> what makes clearly... a tomato is not a fruit. I don't care what science says, but yeah, I would I never agree to that. I would not agree. Tomatoes are like really juicy and stuff, but I would still. What if, okay? Stuff. What about cherry tomatoes? What about that? I I, I don't know. I know a tomato is a tomato. <laughs> Dude, cherry tomatoes are like the best thing ever. Though you get it like a little bit of salt, even even if they're like really sweet, that's they're the best. Dude, for me, cherry tomatoes are, are either really good or fucking like disgusting. Like yeah. the way they pop in my mouth, I'll just be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like especially like if they're warm and like. If they're yes. warm, like soggy, if they'll pop in my mouth. I feel like I just got cummed in. <laughs> I like, don't. Like it disgusts me so much. Yeah. yeah. I don't really like tomatoes. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. I like. I literally will drink tomato juice. Like you guys. Dude, know. I remember in Mr. Kinnaman's in Tech Lab, you would come in with like a gallon of tomato juice, <laughs> yeah. and you drink all of it by the end of the period. Yeah, it was like it had that the slight lime flavor because Clamato came out with a new like the new flavor is a hint of lime. It's like my favorite thing on the planet, but I I'll know. do that with like the classic V8 where it's like mostly tomato. Oh juice. my gosh, I love. Like, I read on right on the can. It's like the little tiny can. It's only like two of those or like for your yeah, yeah. daily serving of like vegetables and i'll read that after like drinking six of them in like two hours i never got into vegetable juice i don't know everyone hates on v8 fruit juice but i like Dude, it I on v8 fruit. Sorry. it's actually decent but anyway like here in the topic list i like seeing cucumbers i'm not a huge fan of them like in any form oranges though and grapes <laughs> i like cucumbers with ranch but other than that they're pretty much just water I, honestly, I like cucumber skin more than the actual cucumber. I'm going to be completely like, kind of like mangoes. Ooh, mangoes. You say mangoes. <laughs> what was that? Did you say mangoes? Have you ever have you ever had a plum cut? Not. They're uh half plum and half apricot. I want. They're that. really good. It's <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, it's it's like the same consistency. It's the same as a plum, kind of. Oh God, what am I trying to say? I'm retarded. I think you're having. You're a explaining a fruit, yeah. Andrew. You're explaining. It. <laughs> no, I know. I don't know. I'm a really Is like texture or I'm a really texture oriented person, and so I don't really like biting into apples with the skin on it or like peaches yeah. or anything like that. And so the plum ka is like my ideal fruit because I love the flavor of it, but the skin is also in between, like an apple. Apricot skins, plum. Are, apricot skins are so good. Like, I love dried apricots because they're so grippy. Like, I don't really know how to actually explain the texture, but it's so good. Dude, yeah. my favorite fruit has to be, like, most of you probably won't know this, but, like, there's a company called Harry and David's, and they sell pears. And the pears, hey, <laughs> the pears are so fucking good. Like, I need them. He told me, so I was looking up, uh, we were looking up like businesses because we were watching Shark Tank in general business and we were looking to see like if this one company still existed and Tristan just went off for like 10 minutes about how <laughs> freaking juicy these pears they're were. They're so juicy. <laughs> you'll, li you'll literally need a bowl to eat them over because they're so juicy. <laughs> they're juicier than Mrs. Incredible's buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Okay, can we just... That should be a topic. Why does Disney characters make all of their moms just so fucking thick? That's oh, no, next time. That's Pixar. It's both. It's Disney Pixar. They know what they're selling. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if I don't know if either of you've heard of this, but for like the animators at Disney, apparently they like they've drawn like so much porn of their characters just like when they're bored. But since it since they like work for Disney and since it's like Disney copyrighted, they they like have it all in like a giant vault in like the headquarters or whatever. Right, yeah. They were like hiring people to like they were literally Disney was hiring people to like release that stuff and to like sell it. What? So have you guys heard of that or no? I have, yeah. I haven't really what? heard of like in detail, but Huh? What? I'm just waiting for uh Oh, never mind. Wow, what a good sentence there's Andrew. Wow, oh, buddy. 
I'm just waiting much. for. Wait. <laughs> I don't want to sound like a weeb here. Be it. Do it. Uh, you're, I'm, you're saying that because I'm it, here. It, please, Andrew. <laughs> no. I don't know. I feel like hentai is going to become that too. Because there's always like fan made like anime manga porn, but it's never animated. <laughs> you say that, but I know. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. We just got to bomb them again. <laughs> Oh, I'm just getting a foot cramp. <laughs> no, did unironically, uh, anime came from the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Wow. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. It's an actual <laughs> thing. No, <laughs> so when no, I'm not kidding. You can look it up. It's real. I know. So after <laughs> after we bombed them, uh, they 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 went into this like really big depression. <laughs> kind of, they didn't have. Like anything, right? And so they would draw comics to like kind of just to entertain themselves, and then they'd sell them, and people would buy them, obviously. And it kind of just escalated from there. So, some genius said, had the idea of like <gasps> porn. <laughs> I mean, if we're on the topic of anime, Xander's the person to talk about that. Yeah. That's true. Actually, I do know a fair bit about Attack on Titans. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I actually uh, watch Attack on Titans. As I know Dominic has it. seen some of it, right? Yeah. Have you? I've seen a little bit, like maybe four episodes. Tristan just told me to tell you that because it makes you mad sometimes. <laughs> oh my god. So... <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I, Xander just like, doesn't believe me that I watch the show. Is For some <laughs> Because you didn't. Okay. Sure. It's been a while since I've seen an actual like. I I, I hate new mainstream anime. They all suck, and they're full of fan service. I've only watched one anime, and, and I'm not gonna disclose the name. For personal. Oh, I <laughs> Just for for no reason at all. I remember. Uh, Tristan, you watch some anime. You watch Ghibli movies. Those count. Those not. Those aren't like anime. Like shows. yeah, they are. They're movies. They're not shows. Like There's, it's still anime. It's Japanese <laughs> cartoons. Is that what you? Is that what you call uh, it? Is this Japanese? No, no. Oh. That's literally what they are. Like if you oh. look up what anime is, it says. It that's another like weird topic. What differs like anime from just animation? If it's made in Japan. Oh, yeah. then- yeah, that's pretty much it, I would say. <laughs> I know, but there's still some like Western cartoons that are made in Japan, but do those count as anime? Wait, what do you mean, like, Western cartoons? Mm-hmm. Like, a Western style, I don't know. Because not all of their cartoons are... Hmm. Well, eat my ass and call me... <laughs> no. It's I don't know. <laughs> yeah, don't Almost do like- that. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, I have one other topic on here. I should have said it earlier. But um, what fictional character would you fuck? Oh, dude. We've already is... done this last no, time. No, no, we didn't even get the well, last one didn't. recorded because our mics were all good. We were trying to get audio issues figured out. Um, Y'all, I don't know. I, I thought I just didn't have an answer for this one because it's kind of scuffed. <laughs> you have an it. We all have an answer, even if we don't know it. Uh, There's I'm... one character. <gasps> Who? I don't know, dude. I would have Schmegs with Hank Hill. <laughs> Hank Hill. That's my favorite anime. <laughs> King of the Hill. I haven't yeah. even seen the show. I just <laughs> love the way it looks. I never really watched any of that like adult animation. I watched Bob's Burgers, and that's about it. I never got into Family Guy or The Simpsons or anything like that. Dude, such and slap. I would definitely do Marge. Marge, <laughs> dude, there's so many. There's so many for that. There's so many like porn ads of Marge. Oh my god, I know. It's <laughs> awful. It's, like, it's, it's really always bad. those two, and they're it's either like, Marge or Lois. Yep, or it, like both together, and they're like, mm, <laughs> click this. Oh, me. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do the March compression. Yeah, also, 
I have this meme where I draw a Homer a day and like I'll go to some of my friends' houses and I'll put sticky notes of Homer everywhere I go. What? Homer, yeah. great that soldier boy. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, shut up. Hey Dominic, remember that birthday card I gave you? Oh my a lot of, you still uh, have that. Are we talking about the uh Yeah. Yeah, I still have yeah, it. You still have it. I was actually I was cleaning my room like uh, like a month ago, and I just saw that and showed it to my mom. I was like, "Nice one, bro. Nice one." <laughs> Ugh. big peen whiz. All right, well, I think we're good. I think it's good enough to wrap it up. Yeah, I'm hungry, so the only thing that's gonna be wrapping up is a fucking chicken. Di- okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is how we ended it last time. You were like, I'm hungry. Yes. I'm like waffles. Oh my gosh, that's right. You made waffles. And then our yeah. second, we tried to record our second episode like six times. That's it was so bad. This one, yeah. This, one, this was a good episode. This one was, yeah. Even though the audio quality will, after it's uploaded, it'll just be like, <laughs> like yeah. I don't know. Also, I've literally just been walking around my room with my phone in my hand for like the majority of this, so. That sounds yeah. like about right. Makes sense. Ooh, all right. right. Well, yeah, that has been uh, the Puke Podcast. Thank you all for listening. If you if you listened to last episode, thanks for joining us again. You have and... nothing to do with your life. <laughs> Except listen to good content, of course. <laughs> yep. All right. And yeah, uh, we'll see you all next time. Uh, we don't really have a fixed schedule right now, but we're trying to record episodes as yep. soon as possible. But yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Uh, We'll see you next time. See you. No.